Hi everybody and welcome. I want to show you um, a quick video on um, the hanging dish towels that I made. This is the first one. It has a little bicycle. I added some lace at the bottom and I put some of the matching fabric. Put a snap on there to make it just go over your oven door, counter door, or whatever you would uh, you know, want to put it on that back so that's that one and then I did this one with the flowers and I just added a little bit of border to the bottom some of them I didn't like this one with a butterfly I figured it had enough butterflies on it I didn't want to add any bottom uh, fabric to it I just added some lace it's another bicycle one these I made for a lady my famous chicken ones. I love these ones with the chickens. Here's another one. So I'm going to uh, show you. Let's see if I can get this. Um, I have a pattern that I'm going to try to. My husband's creating a PDF for me. And you print it out. I'll hold this up so if you want to snapshot it you can see it that's the pattern and what you do is you cut it out and then this little piece here will be taped to the top so when you cut it out it will look like this and then this is the little tiny piece and you just match up those two lines there and tape it together so this one's going to be a little this one I always save the top because I don't know how much extra off of the page that I'm going to need so this one would be matched up perfectly. I just take some tape. I put it on the front. Tape that. And I just line them lines up like you see. And then tape it on the back. So I'm going to move this light to see if I can create a little bit better lighting. And um that's all you do with that and then you take it and you lay it on your piece of fabric whatever you want this was on top of here and you trace it and once you trace it you cut it out and you leave extras on the side because that's where you know you're gonna stitch on the seam and then you're gonna have a little bit later you could trim away um, I use in scrap batting that I had left over. This one doesn't quite meet the sides, but it's fine because where I'm stitching, I don't need it super thick, but it'll hold it down everywhere else and give me the batting because I'm going to have the towel down here at the bottom. So then I just put the piece of batting on here and then we're going to sew around. What we're going to do is we're going to start at one end. We're going to sew all the way up, around, come down, and then onto this end. And it only takes a few minutes. I've uh, prepared a couple steps early so that it won't take so long. And then I'm just going to follow the trace line that I did. I'm going to sew right on top of the trace line or just next to it, whatever you prefer. But use that as your guide as you're sewing. You just go slow and kind of turn it a little bit at a time. Move your foot. Turn it. That'll give you your curve. That's the slowest part about going around it. And I've just got around that curve. Now I'm going to come back down. following my pattern uh, and you know the lines that I drew and I'm back stitching at both ends okay so now that we have that done we're just going to trim we'll trim a little bit of the extra away that we left we want to keep some and then I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to trim 
around and I'm going to leave some of that because I want to put some cuts in there and I don't want to go into my seam. That way it'll turn really good for us. Just cutting around the batting and this was leftover batting that I had from the bowl holders and the ice cream cozies and I decided I was going to save. I was using it on a scrap quilt and then I figure I'll use it on here. But once you get to this where you have the curve going around you want to take and put um, I do one right at the corner so when I put that corner out it comes good and I just put little slices in there so that it'll turn as we go around and we don't want to cut into the uh, stitching we just want to make it so that the fabric when we turn it won't balk up and we'll get our um, design in there you know the shape that we want not design but the shape that we want and I'm just putting little cuts so that the fabric will move when I'm turning it and then we're just going to go around and cut up here around the little circle part at the top because other words it's not going to come out like a circle if you don't put some little slices in there and then all you got to do is take your pins out and you'll turn this um, right side out okay we'll turn this right side out I'll find my little pokey tool that I just had here oh my lord see it dropped on the floor I've got so much stuff going on. I'm making a bunch of these for the craft fair that's coming up. Um, it's for the Commission of Aging. So, um, I don't know where my little stick is. I'll try to use this marking pencil that I use to get it and turn it and trying to push this up that we need it up. I gotta buy a new one. I broke it, my other one. It's just like a little dowel rod is all it is. And I'm just gonna push on this and try to get it to come up with me. I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to rip my fabric. There we go. And that went through so now I got to bring it back and redo it. But you get the idea of that one. So that was one thing about, you know, it pokes through. So now you got to bring it back and you got to uh, re, re sew it at that point and redo it. Okay, so I just got that out and I got to re sew that because I poked too hard. you have to do if that happens to you but anyways you turn it right side out like I showed you I've got another one already prepared you take it to the ironing board and you take these the bottom and you press it up about a uh, half an inch um, on here so that this is where we're gonna stick the dish towel to I'm gonna push this back so that you can see I have my dish towel Where's my one? I've moved everything and I don't know what to do with it. I got this one, this one, this one, this one. This one will move off to the side. I just had that. Oh, it's buried under a piece of fabric. That's fine. Okay, so you take your dish towel, you fold it in half, and then we're going to cut it. So that way it's going to give you two, which I already cut at this. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this into thirds. And I'm going to fold that like that. And then I'm going to bring it over here to my towel. And I'm going to make a, keep adjusting it until the towel fits inside of here. So I'll just keep adjusting that a little bit 
So we'll bring this side over a little bit more. Press that down with our hands. I'm going to bring that side. All right, so now I have it at the width that it will fit inside of here. And I'm just going to stitch this so that it stays together real good for me. Some people do and some people don't. But I like to just give it some extra security. Clip off those strings. And then we're going to tuck this up inside of our dish towel. I mean our little hanger part that we created. And so it should look like that. And then we're going to, you're going to make sure that it's up in there really good. I need to push it up just a little bit more. i make sure that it's straight. And I'm going to put a couple pins in here to help hold it in place. Ouch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch along here. I'm going to come up and I'm going to go all the way around and come back down to this side. And this side looks not up enough. I mean, it needs to be down a little bit more, I mean. Okay, so now I'm going to bring it under the machine here and stitch that down. We've got a back tag. And I'm just doing about a quarter inch of a seam. And it sounds heavy like that um, banging because of the amount of fabric that it's going through. Now I'm just coming up the sides and going all the way around just to give it a finished look. These are really fast. Um, I think it takes about 10 or 11 minutes to make them. They're great Mother's Day gifts, uh, especially with Mother's Day coming up, great craft fair. Everybody's always looking for some dish towels. And I'll break down like my pricing on this um, and when I get done so Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to check to make sure I caught the back, which I did, and I'm going to put lace on this one so it will give it a little bit. You don't have to. You could leave it just like this if you wanted to. I've seen a lot of them. You could do borders. I bought a bunch of this lace for $2.99 at Joann's. It was five yards, and this is the best way to buy it. I'm just going to measure me a piece off here enough to tuck in on both sides and all I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck in a piece and I'm going to bring it up just about um, where the stitch is here in the, the um, little lip here on the lace I'm going to bring it up there and then I'm going to stitch that across tucking my corner I'm rolling my corner and tucking it in so that it doesn't hang out. And I'm going to back stitch that. You can pin it if you want. Um, I just like use my foot as a guide to where I want it to go on the last seam that I put in. But for somebody that's just beginning and learning, I would pin it. And that way you got a straight line. I'm trying to get that tucked under without it sticking the top up. My back stitched. Okay, so now I'm just cutting off the strings. We have this really cute dish towel. 
All there's left to do is you could put a button on here. I don't like sewing buttons, so I don't mess with them. So we're going to put a snap on here. I bought this snap kit for like $19 and this extra refill. I've gone through so many. You get a ton of snaps with a snap kit. Um, and then the refill kit, I think there's over a thousand of them in here. And I think it was only like um, 10 or $12 on Amazon. But I use these and I've been making so many things that before I wouldn't make because you needed buttons and stuff. And I'm not good with buttonholes and buttons. So now I'm just going to fold that down, and I'm going to use um, wherever I put it. Just had it sitting here too. The pokey two. Oh, it's buried back here. The little pokey two. And I'm going to put a hole in there, and I'm just going to. Kind of move that back around, watch so you don't poke your finger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these that's got the little point on it, because you'll need a male and a female in, and I'm going to put that in there. And I left this in here so I can remember, you know, where my hole goes. And then this is a little outie one, and then this one is a little innie. I call them outie and innies. Take one of the other, it doesn't matter which one you put on what side. And then you just put, take your little snap thing and you make sure the one that had the point on it, that one there, it goes in this little cup. Slides down in there and you just squeeze down and you got part of your snap. Then you take the other one and you put that pointy one on the outside and then the snap part on the inside and you just repeat it. But I've been working on a lot of craft fair stuff. Um, I'm doing, like I said, this one I commissioned into aging because I usually don't do spring craft fairs. I don't usually have time, but I thought I'd commit because it's to raise money for the commission age. So now we have our dish towel. It didn't take that long to make. It took longer for me because I was explaining it. But if I, uh, I bought these dish towels when they were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Well, now they're a dollar and a quarter. So it's still not bad. This is a fat quarter that I bought um, from the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar at the time. So if you think about it, you got two. You got 50 cents here, 50 cents here, and maybe um, a quarter worth of, uh, uh, of this. So you figure a dollar and a quarter, and then maybe about two cents on a snap. So you got... Um, a dollar, say even a dollar thirty, if you say that you had into it, you turn around and they go for five dollars a piece. You've made a really good profit. Even if you put them at four dollars a piece, you're still making a really good profit. You're making over three hundred percent. So you can afford to let them go for three dollars. You can afford to sell them for five dollars, four dollars, whatever you want to do. Because I do get five dollars. I've gotten four dollars when I've gotten down to the end and want to get rid of them. I'll lower the price just to get rid of them so I don't bring them home with me. But that's how you make these. They're fast, easy, quick. I hope you try. And I'll try to link the PDF file my husband uh, made for me for you guys so that you can copy it.